here we have a quick review of the Draper Expert 79985 6 pattern spray gun. The reason we chose this one was that it had better written reviews than any of the other models, even those that were more modern and had more spray pattern options. As you can see, it comes with a brass fitting that fits any hose lock type connector. Here is a front view of the spray gun where you can see the different apertures that create the different spray patterns. You can also see the soft grip handle that makes it very comfortable to hold. Now let's have a look at the patterns available. You select the pattern by twisting the faceplate of the gun to the pattern that you need. The pattern chosen here is shower. Presumably it's simulate a rain shower. <laughs> The patterns are handily named on the side of the face plate. You just twist whatever one you need to the top of the gun and it clicks into position. In this case jet, handy for filling watering cans or blasting dirt out of inaccessible, difficult to reach places. Remember that the pressure you're going to get is totally dependent on the source you're using. If you've got high mains pressure and you'll get high power if your pressure's not that good, then the gun won't really alter that. It feels pretty sturdy and well made to me, even with some of the plastic parts it's got, and it was about half the price of its major competitors, so I'm expecting it to last quite well. Releasing the handle immediately stops the water. You can see the uh, tension adjuster screw uh, which is made of plastic right there at the back of the handle. I didn't actually have to alter this one, it was all right straight out of the box. It seems to shut off the water quick enough as soon as you let go of the handle. Well, only a couple of more patterns left to show you. Cone here which might be handy for hanging baskets, rinsing down of pot plants, etc. I'd also advise storing it indoors during the winter months as that'll extend its life by quite some time. Here we've got mist, which is handy for delicate flowers that you don't want to damage by using a more powerful jet. Last one here is Soaker, which is pretty handy for again filling buckets or watering cans or giving the ground a good soaking prior to putting some new plants in. Well that's the last of the spray patterns available in this model. The same company does do a more recent model with more spray patterns, but oddly enough, that doesn't get as good reviews as this one, at least not that I could find. And the reason that I did a video review was that there didn't seem to be one anywhere and I thought people might like to have a look. It does have one last trick up its sleeve however, what you might call hands-free mode. You'll see that there's a little metal loop at the back of the spray gun and if you push this back to slot inside the handle it will hold the spray gun in an open position so that you don't have to squeeze the trigger to keep the water flowing. That's handy if you want to fill a paddling pool or something like that where you have to go away and leave it for some time. Well that's about it nothing much more to say about it does what it says on the tin hope this review has been useful to some of you out there it might want it to see what this thing looks like and what it does and uh, happy gardening <laughs>